Hey there everybody, T-Shirt Booth here for GSHelper.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a simple volume slider or any slider for that matter. Um, the first thing we're going to need is your um, dot image for your slider and then your line image. Um, so there are two separate images. Um, I also have a play sound image here so I press preview here. Yay! So I'm going to show you how to make a slider to turn that volume up and down. It's really quite easy. There's just a few steps. Um, the first thing we're going to do is create a game attribute. And it's going to be a real attribute. And the reason why we're using real attribute is because we're going to be in the uh, decimal points. And we're going to call this volume. And we're going to leave it set to zero. And now we're going to go into this slider, which is the circle or whatever you're using for the, the, the dot. And we're going to create two self attributes. And um, for these, they're both going to be index. And then we're going to call the first one slider min. And the second one slider max. Now in order to find the min and max, what you want to do is you want to drag your slider to the spot where you want it, open it up, and check out the X position, write it down, and then bring it to the other side, open it up, and check out the X position. Now I already know the two X positions for mine, so I'm just going to put this back to the center here, and I'm going to open it up, and for my minimum, I want it to be 57 and for my max I want it to be 423 so which means when I'm sliding it it's not gonna pass this side or this side I'm gonna go back into this actor and we're gonna create a rule and we're gonna say when touch is pressed we want to constrain attribute self position now because our slider is going left to right we're gonna use the X if your slider was going up and down, you would use the Y. And for this, we're going to set up a min and max. Uh, and when doing min and x, we're going to start with max first. So I'm, I'm going to backspace to the first open bracket. And we're going to go self, slider minimum, comma, and then we'll use min. And we're going to backspace to the first open bracket. And then we're going to go slider max, comma, and then we're going to say device mouse position x. And then we're going to do two closed brackets. And the reason why we're doing two closed brackets is because there's two open brackets over here. We're going to hit OK, and I'm going to hit preview. And now you're going to see I can drag it, and it won't go past the spot, and it won't go past the spot on that side. So it only allows me to drag within the area of my line. Now what we need to do is tie this to the volume. And with volume, the low end of volume is 0 and the high end of volume is 1. So we need to get decimal numbers from 0 to 1 to create our volume. Um, and by doing that, it's as uh, simple as adding a constraint attribute and we're going to constrain game volume two and then there's a little bit of math here we're going to go floor and we're going to backspace to the open bracket there and we're going to go self position x minus self slider min then we're going to close bracket divided by open bracket slider max minus slider min. Then we're going to do a close bracket and I'm going to hit OK. So now we'll, you won't be able to see it so what we're going to do is we're going to create a text attribute here. I'm going to put it up here and we're going to tell this to display the volume attribute. I'll just change the color here. Now I'll hit preview. And now you'll see as I slide it from one side to the other, 
it goes to 0 to 1. So now we're going to tie this to our audio. What we want to do is I have my play button that plays the audio and right here for volume it says 1. We're going to hit the E and we're going to connect that to the game.volume. Now we're going to hit preview and I'm going to hit play sound yeah. and as you can see I just turned it off and turning it up. So let's do full blast and turn it all the way to nothing. I'll plus again and there you go. So now we have a simple volume slider. Head on over to gshelper.com and you can download this file absolutely free. It will be underneath the video and I'll see you guys in the next episode.